So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some uh, Dauphinois potatoes the easy way. Okay, so first things first, Dauphinois potatoes is basically potatoes cooked in cream. I'm going to put some cream on. So that's what? One of these is 280 millilitres, I've got about 200 in there, so I'm going to use about, I'm going to use about 200 millilitres of cream. Like so. Lovely. That's it. To that cream, we're going to add some, uh, some of this little bella. This is thyme. So we get a bit of flavour. I'm also going to put some garlic in there. So I'm just going to crush the garlic. So it releases its, um, releases its flavours. Stop that in. Salt. And a little bit of salt. Okay. Now, I'm just going to get on the heat and I'm just going to bring that to the boil. So far, yeah. Right, so that's on. What I've got here is, I've also got a tray. It's a tray, it's a, it's a deep tray, well it's about that deep. I've, I've put some grease proof paper in it so I'm going to lay the potatoes, and then when the potatoes are cooked, it's easy. It's a lot easier to take the potatoes out. We can flip them out because it's on the paper. Take the paper off, and then we can cut it into nice portions. So, what I'm going to do is, I want to do it the easy way. So I'm going to use a potato, and I'm going to cut it in half. Like so. Like that. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to nip that end off. We can use that in some mashed potato or something else. Nip that off. And then I'm just gonna slice it into slices about, so that's about, probably about what, one milliliter, two, probably about three, mil, mil, three milliliters, probably about three millimeters in width, okay? Keep an eye on the cream, because when the cream starts to boil, it will rise up the pan, and it could potentially boil over, which we don't want. And what I'm gonna do is, I've got the potatoes like this, and I'm just gonna do that. Right side. And that is how I'm going to lay the potatoes into the tray. I'm just going to have to look over here, because I've got a pan moving away. Just turn that down a little bit. So the cream's up, cream's going. That's all. Give that a little bit of a stir. Don't want to burn the cream. You see that? As soon as it gets to this point and it starts boiling, you really get the smell, the aroma of the garlic and the thyme. It's really cool. So, potatoes. The way I'm going to do this one is, potatoes. Gonna pick them up, lay them in the tray. That's it. Again, potato, cut the end off. It's about three millimeters width. Slice it down. Like right so. See that? Cool. Keep an eye on the cream. The cream is bubbling away nicely, infusing the garlic and the thyme. What I'm going to do now is again okay, turn it, potatoes are sliced, push it slightly forward, and we get a nice layer of potato. Again, in the tray. Like so. There we go. See that? Then you get the potatoes laid up in the tray. So I'll do the same again here. Just give another layer of potatoes. Cream's boiling away. You see that? Been grubbing away for a few minutes now, so that's infused the uh, the thyme with garlic. I'm going to turn off the heat now. Don't want it to reduce too much. And then I'm just going to finish this one off. So potato in half. 
took me end off slightly. Cut it down again in the tray. So I just finished that off and then I'll show you the rest of the dough for more potatoes. Right, so now I'm just going to have a look at, so we're going back to the dough for more potatoes. So dough for more potatoes, I've got them all in the tray there. And the sliced potato, layered it up, I've got a mini, mini one there, look, on the side, a little bit of space. Got my cream. My cream's been uh, boiled it for a few minutes with some garlic and some thyme. What I want to do now is I'm just going to pass it off, just so the um, so we get rid of the little bits of the thyme. Thyme and the garlic. Don't want lumps of garlic in it, really. So we just pass it off. Like so, so you get the flavour of that, and then just okay. Salt, there's quite a bit of salt in the cream. So I'm not gonna be able to worry about salting these potatoes. So what we do now is, see that? I'm just gonna pour the cream over evenly over the potatoes. Now, I don't wanna to go too high. So, if you give it a little push down slightly. Okay. And just a tiny bit more. You don't want to cover the potatoes too much. Um, so you push it down, cream comes up. Okay. But, do you see that? So the oven's on around 150 degrees Celsius. What I'm gonna do now is, I don't wanna to get too much color on the top of the potatoes to start with. So what we'll do is we'll cover it in tin foil and we're gonna cook it covered. Grease proof paper on, on first, on the top first. Then I'm gonna put some tin foil on top. The grease proof's on there because if you put the tin foil straight on, it'll end up sticking to the potatoes. And then you'll end up with bits of tin foil all in your potatoes, so it's just not good. Okay. Nicely covered. So, oven's on around 150 degrees Celsius. This is going in the oven. Leave it. I'll give it, I'm gonna give it half an hour. No, I'll give it 25 minutes to start with. Have a look, when the potatoes are soft, I'll take the tin foot off and finish it off like so. So, in the oven. Give it a sweater fan. So the dough for my potato has been now cooking in the oven for about, that's about 45 minutes at 150, covered in tin foil. So we can have a look at it. Uh, quite a cloth. Hey, where's my cloth gone? Okay, here we go. A bit of roof in the bear style. Did I roof it a bit? Okay. Uh, okay, I'll take that out. Now, this is really hot. You gotta be really, really careful when you're doing this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tin foil off. I'm just gonna peel this paper back gently. See the potatoes in there? I just wanna put the potatoes in, and if the knife goes through there, like that, they're cooked okay it's nice and soft it's really soft so what we'll do now is I'm gonna put grease proof back on the top I'm gonna to put my tin fill back on the top I'm wondering if I should color it now should I color it now I'll come back to it color it now or color it tomorrow Colour it now, colour it tomorrow. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna leave it so it's nice to cool down. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish it off for a nice portion of both and white potatoes. We'll just show you how we're gonna do that. You can gently press it. So you want a tray that will there's one. So I wanna get a tray, I'm just gonna sit at the top, so it just sits in there nicely. Something with a little bit of weight on it. Um, anything I do, let's put that there. 
you know what? I don't think that's good. Um, so that. What have I got? With some weight on it. Oh, something. Bag. Okay, so we've got a bag of sugar here. I don't want to let it that way because it will fall out. Let's just. Oh. Shall I? Will it? Oh, that's okay. Just be careful if you're using bags and stuff because it might all spill out when you put it in. So we do this, put it in the fridge, come back. Um, later on, when it's cooled down, then we'll finish the dough from wild potato up. Okay, so back with the dough from wild potatoes. So I've had these dough from wild potatoes I've left in the fridge overnight. Um, the idea being is that the potato actually sets when it's cold, and then we can cut it into nice shapes and then reheat it. So there's some sugar. I use a bag of sugar to help press down the potato. Um, so it holds its shape. Can you see that? Can we see it? Yeah, we can see it. Can we see it? Oh, that's good. So we'll take it off. Tin foil, that come off nicely. Grease piece on the top, so the tin foil didn't stick to the potato. We'll take that out. Let's we'll have a look. Voila. Okay. Now I'm just going to tip. I'll just tip it out upside down. And just gently kind of ease out the potato. Put it out the potato, there we go. Then, and then so we've got the potato, I'm just gonna gently um, peel off the um, grease with paper. See that? Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, looking good. So, what I'm gonna do now is, I, right, can we see, the, can you see this camera? So, I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit on the edges and the sides. Like so. And then, just have a little taste. Creamy, thyme, garlicky, potato. Okay. So that's the. Um, that's the big dough for my potato. I'm just going to cut it down slightly so you can see it. I'll cut it in half first and then I'll flip it over. So in half. Now I just want to gently turn it over. And then the way I've done it this time is, um, the way I've done it with this one, I just want to cut it along with the, um, in between where I put the potatoes together in this style. So, and then I'm just gonna spend it on how you would like your potato. So, I'm just gonna cut, cut it, you can do triangles, squares. So, let's just go in half again. Like so, and then we've got a nice little dough for more potato. So, what you could do then is you could put some cheese on the top, finish it off in the oven to re when you reheat it. Um, or just reheat it with no cheese, just plain like that. I mean, we can keep it, keep a long one as well. So let's do a long one. So maybe trim it a little bit off there, and it's just there. We go, just straighten them up a little bit. So we got a longer one on there. We got a longer one, two smaller ones. Um, let's just do a. Let me do another longer one. So, just depending on your uh, on your dish design. Okay, let's just use these bits over here. Can we see those? You can see that. Right? That's that big of it. So, there is my uh, dough for my potato. Um, it's not the easy way. We're just slicing the potatoes rather than finely slicing them so yeah i'll be using this on a dish later on and i can show you the dish so thank you very much